Hey guys, it's K21 here again, and today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video. Now, this is just an AEG. This is my first AEG. It's just an M4, so it's not very uncommon. You can get it basically anywhere, and it's nothing really special, but it's my first AEG, so it's pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing I've got is this Tenergy Universal Smart Charger that I've got for it. It comes with these cables, I have no idea what it's for, but... Wait. Oop. Look at that. So, this is just one cord, and this is the main cord. Uh, there are two settings on it. The 1 QA and the 2 QA. It's better to set it on the 1 QA just because it's better for the battery. And, you know, it's... It, it charges slower, but it is much better than the battery, and I just highly recommend using the one before left, so just one QA. Now, next thing I got was the Tenergy, or yeah, T Energy, whatever. Uh, this is the 9.6 volt battery. 9.6, I highly recommend these ones, because these are just, 9.6 voltage are probably one of the best batteries you could get for an AEG, so, yeah. Everything I got was, uh, the, uh, 2,700, uh, biodegradable 0.20 gram BBs. I got these as, a uh, combo pack at Box Airsoft. Basically just 20% off if I got all of these. So the next, so, well, the last thing to unbox is the gun. Now, what's this? Uh, this is just something that you just, I guess, probably came with the smart charger, but let's go ahead. You gotta, I actually put it, fa made it face, you know, this way just because, you know, so you can see it. But it's kind of hard for me. Alright, there we go. Alright, so, first off we have, well, it doesn't even come with a manual, I don't think. It has this, uh, two, what looks like two stickers in the back, and then just, you know, like, one target. It comes with a default battery, just, this is an 8.4 voltage battery, so I do not recommend using what comes with the gun, unless it is a 9.6 voltage battery. It also comes with some, uh, rail covers and a vertical grip so it also comes with a uh, I'm pretty sure it's metal 300 round high cap magazine it also comes with a wall charger now like I said I do not recommend using these for one thing this wall charger it does not know when the battery is done charging so it could eventually just burn out the battery and completely ruin the gun and you can only last so long with this battery. It also has this, uh, it has this patch, this lens protectable patch. I'm trying to get it off. Ah, oh, there we go. And we just tear it. Sorry about the, the airplane and the wind. So I can just put this on my vest. Alright, it's pretty awesome. I've never gotten a patch before. I need to start collecting patches. <laughs> so, the last thing we have. Oh, it has this little screw. I don't know what that's for. Oh, I think it's actually for adjusting or taking off, like, I don't know, the side or something. I have no idea. But now we've got the gun itself. recommend using this uh, the one on the back just because it's much easier to use so yeah so it's just wow it's pretty awesome so it's on the auto safe and semi actually
Charge up the battery. Alright, so guys, the battery is charged and we're ready to shoot. Now, I'm sorry I didn't get to finish that part of the video just because there was the store just ran out on the camera. So I did, just because I did so many times, I had to, you know, reshoot. So, alright, let's, let's start shooting. This is the accuracy test. It's on full auto. All right, now you just wind it up. You can wind it up every once in a while. Maybe every like four bursts on a full auto. So now, guys so it hit the tree every single time so it's pretty accurate but it's only from like I don't know 10 not like 8 to 10 yards away so it's actually not that far away but it actually is pretty accurate so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment down below see you guys next time bye